Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Midweek Market Wrap-Up with myself. If you don't know who I am, my name is Michael Noss. I'm a Chartered Market Technician Quantitative Trader with StatsEdge Trading. More information about that and the tools you see me use in the link in the description below. First of all, I apologize that the channel's been a little sparse lately. I've had some business trips. I went to Toronto and spoke at a CMT conference. I hung out with the awesome guys at Trader TV Live. That had me out of the house, away from the recording stuff. Um, but I am back, and I am kind of kind of get back into the swing of things over the next week or so, uh, starting with the live Q&A that is going to be back on Sunday. So again, if you're new here, we just midweek, talk about the market, talk about what happened in the market, that kind of comes all into culmination and a live stream that I do on the weekend. If you're interested in more of that, you can sign up for my email list uh, in the description below uh, on my website. I only email out when there's a new video or something that comes out or uh, schedule my live stream. So let's get right into it. I need to go quickly this time because I'm actually speaking at Wealth 365. So I've been kind of pulled all over the place recently, but I'm not forgetting about you guys or the channel. This will be back soon. So what I'm going to have to do today for the sake of time is this is just the snapshot of what it is that I am going to give to the Stats Edge Pro members. Um, again, part of Stats Edge Pro is that I give this blog post with all of my thoughts on the market, a watch list, and the whole nine yards, uh, as well as access to uh, a trading room where we just chat about trading all day. Not a signal service, I don't believe in those, so I won't be telling you what to buy or sell or anything like that, but a bit of a look over my shoulders, access to my scans, and then a live Q&A that we do once a month where I'll answer any and all questions that you guys have. I have to open up my presenting software. So let's start with Bitcoin. There's really nothing to talk about with Bitcoin. So we've been dealing with this kind of consolidation here. You can see my angry notes. Uh, incredibly boring on Bitcoin. You know, we have lower highs here, which is interesting. And then we have just this support zone that it keeps bouncing off of. You know, one way or another, when this thing breaks, I think it will be interesting. Um, I don't think I would buy an upbreak of the downtrend line just because this thing is overall in a pretty massive downtrend. But if it breaks down, I have an order there to uh, get some on a smart stop. So this chart here is the dollar. You can see the strength in the dollar. We had a little bit of a pullback, and now it looks like we might be pushing into new highs as the dollar. As the dollar keeps going, I worry a little bit about stocks, and I worry about a little bit about... Um, uh, crypto. They seem to be kind of inversely correlated, at least for now. So if we see this rally continue in the dollar, um, I think everything's going to be a little bit iffy from there. So uh, Euro GDP, I was watching this anchored view app failure, we got that. So now I'm looking to see if Euro pound can get kind of into if it pulls back to this area and then breaks through. You know, I think we could kind of see this area on Euro pound. So that's a trade that I'm looking at there. Really only one chart of the overall market because it may be even hard to see on your screen. We have a little bitty tiny candle, which makes up for an inside day in the overall market. So that inside day to me just shows that everybody's waiting for CPI numbers, which is the note I have here, right? CPI comes out tomorrow. So I think today, you know, large institutions, things like that are just kind of holding on and saying, you know, listen, I'll just wait for, um, I'll wait for CPI tomorrow before I take a big bet. So I'm just going to go over a couple of the watch lists, not all of them. Um, but this TMCI, I really like the look of full disclosure, I'm in a little bit of this. But we have this prior resistance area that's pulled back as support. Uh, I'm going to look to add if this thing can kind of break this little base that's going on right here. But I like the look of that one. Uh, let's go into ASND. I picked up some of this today, but I still like the look of it. Again, this prior resistance zone acting as support, looking to see if we kind of bounce off there. Note the dotted lines here are earnings, so we got to be out before them. Um, this one is from Trade Ideas Relative Strength Algorithm, which is an algorithm that I beat, I built that uh, do, does well to find good looking stocks in the market. So you can see this thing is getting super tight bouncing between these two trend lines, looking to see if this kind of curls back up and breaks through before the earnings day. Uh, there's one more I want to talk about. Yeah, uh, IRDM, same type of thing right here. IRDM had a 
big support or resistance zone right here. It's gapped up and it's just kind of chopping against it. So earnings is getting a little bit closer to this one. So I might have to actually take it off the list soon. But if we get a push in the next couple of days, I'm interested. And then just to show you, we have a watch list that looks like this. It's just I update in the back end and it updates here live, um, just showing everything, the, the price that I'm interested in and the um, uh, you know the distance from that price. Looks like there's a little error right there, but I'll take a look at that later. And then I just, my thoughts, right? And my thoughts were real, real simple this time, just waiting for C CPI to drop tomorrow. So thank you all for coming out. Sorry, this was a little bit rushed, but again, everybody seems to want to hear me talk recently, which I hope ends soon. And I'll get back into more of a regular kind of timing with the channel. So thank you all for coming out. I will see you guys later, um, hopefully on Sunday on the live stream. Talk to you soon.